I'd like to thank the organizers at BADA for the invitation. My name is Iran Eden. I'm the co-founder and CEO of MIMID. For nearly a decade, we've been working with partners around the globe to develop and to commercialize technologies that aim to transform the way we manage patients with acute infections and inflammatory disorders. Rather than trying to detect the pathogen, the bacteria, or the virus, we use a different paradigm. We decode the signals of the body's immune system. Today, I want to share with you a pioneering technology that uses this paradigm and profiles the host immune response to help manage patients with suspected acute infections. Take, for example, a patient with suspected lower respiratory tract infection entering the emergency department or the urgent care. Conventional tests that try to measure the pathogen, PCRs, cultures, or rapid antigen tests are obviously very helpful, but often insufficient. For example, in many cases, the infection site is not readily accessible. And even if the pathogen is detected, uncertainty remains whether or not this is a colonizer. Therefore, there are two fundamental questions that go beyond attempting to detect the pathogen that if one can answer in real time, can significantly improve the way we would manage our patients. The first question, does the patient have a bacterial or viral etiology, B versus V? That would trigger a decision whether or not to treat with antibiotics or not. The second question, is the disease likely to be severe or not? which would inform our decisions whether to escalate treatment or not. For example, early determination of disease severity could be very helpful in the context of COVID-19, where clinicians are often faced with a difficult dilemma. Do we admit the patient, thereby potentially draining hospital resources and increasing the risk of hospital-acquired infections? Or do we discharge to recover at home, thereby introducing the risk of morbidity and even mortality due to care not received in the hospital? Our core technology tries to answer these two fundamental questions by using a small blood sample, an easy-to-use format, within less than 15 minutes. And we achieve this by measuring a suite of host immune proteins and then computationally integrate them using machine learning to produce key insights. Is the immune system finding off a bacteria or a viral infection and identifying early signs of severe or non-severe infections? Now what I'd like to do is to compress nearly a decade of work from idea to a full-fledged product that we're now using to guide patient treatment. It starts with MIMIT BV, the signature for distinguishing between bacterial and viral etiologies. From 2009 to 2013, we ran a prospective study including 1,002 patients, the largest proteomics screening in acute infections at that time. We identified a signature that comprised of three proteins, TRAIL, which is a virally induced protein, IP10, an interferon gamma-induced protein, which is also virally induced, and CRP that goes up predominantly in bacterial infections and inflammation has been around for decades. The performance of the combined signature had a sensitivity of over 90% and specificity over 90% with a negative predictive value above 98%. In the years to come, a, we ran a series of prospective double-blind external validation studies done by multiple groups. For example, in 2015, our results were reproduced by the group of Professor Bond on over 700 patients and published in the Lancet ID. In 2016, results were again reproduced by Professor Srugo and Alain Gervais on over 600 patients. Today, we have over eight studies and real-world evidence encompassing 20,000 patients around the globe with an unprecedented amount of clinical uh, validation. We have recently partnered with Diasorin, a major player in the space, to map the signature on their liaison large automated immunoassay platforms, which will provide access to our solution in the central lab. The second signature, Mimit Alert, is used to determine disease severity, is now under development and testing. It builds on top of the proteins used in the MIMID BV and adds more. For example, we and others have found the trail is an accurate early detector of severity, particularly in viral patients. IP10 is an indicator for hyperinflammation and severity, particularly in COVID-19 patients. Next, our goal is to make sure that these signatures are available at the point of need where and when they are actually needed. These signatures require measurements of multiple proteins across a wide dynamic range. After trying to mount it on more conventional platforms and failing for actually a few years, we went on to develop a pioneering point of care platform called Mimit Key. It's based on chemiluminescence, and this work was led by our co-founder and CTO, Dr. Fiorved, and an international team, and was heavily supported by DITRA, by CDMRP, and by the European Commission. The Mimit Key allows central laboratory precision with a wide dynamic range, picogram, nanogram, and microgram per ml. It, again, it's made based on chemiluminescence magnetic beads. It's rapid, can run the BV test in less than 15 minutes, and serum is now working on whole blood. And it's very easy to use, with potential to be clear waveable in the future. 
We've just received EU clearance and are working to complete our pivotal study for FDA clearance next year. To summarize, we've developed a pioneering point of care platform that can multiplex multiple proteins with central laboratory precision and developed the signatures that profile the immune system or the immune response that answer two fundamental clinical questions. First, does the patient have a bacterial or viral etiology? And second, is the disease severe or not? This core technology can now be applied broadly to address, to address additional challenges. Thank you.